I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will see how to construct an angle of 20 degrees. That is the major objective. Now, there are many shortcuts to do this. However, when we learn analytical geometry and when we are talking about loci and construction, each step involved should be reasoned out. Our students should understand why the step has been done and how do we get the result which we get. That's the whole idea. So to construct a 20 degrees angle, I'll begin from the very beginning. So we'll kind of review how to construct parallel lines and then we'll learn the concept of dividing segments into congruent parts and thereby we'll actually divide 60 degrees angle into three parts and get 20 degrees angle. So I hope the concept is clear, okay? So let's begin by understanding how to sketch parallel lines. Now, if you really know it, you can skip this part and move on to the later half of this video. So we'll assume that we have this particular line and we have to draw a line parallel to this line given outside point. So let's say this is the point which is outside the line which is given to us. Now to construct a parallel line what we should do is a line is defined by two points so we can take two points on the line. So let's say these points are points A and B. Right? Now from point B we can connect from point A, let us say. So from point A, let us connect the exterior point. Let's call this exterior point as point P. So that will be a unique line. So let's say that's the ray which we're talking about. And ray PA connects point A on the given line with our point. Now the idea is, to construct an angle with same same angle right so if I have an angle at A and somehow if I am able to construct equal angles then my job is done so those will be the corresponding angles between parallel lines how do we do that so we'll just open the compass and form an arc as I've shown here right and we'll make with the same thing place it at point P and then form another arc from point P, right? Now, we can see what is the distance of this arc from the ray to the line. So now the idea is to make equal angles. Steps to make equal angles are, as you can see here, we'll form, find the length of this arc, right? So. So that is the length. So placing it at the intersection of this point, we see, well, that is the length of my arc, right? So from the intersection on the ray AP, I can cross the arc of the same length. Now we get a point. Let's call this point as Q. Joining this point with the point P, we do get a parallel line. Is that clear to you? Right. So, so I could join these two line points through P and what we get is, is a parallel line. Correct? Since we have ensured that our angles are congruent. Perfect. So that is how you get parallel lines. Now let's move on and see how to divide a segment into congruent parts. Now let us say we have a line segment AB. So let me just construct a line segment. Let me take the length of the segment as six units. It'll be easy for us to test it out, right? Okay, so this is the line segment AB. We need to divide this line segment, let us say, into three equal parts.
how do we do that well what we can do now is we can from point a draw any other ray right so from a let's draw any ray so let's say this is the ray which we have constructed from point a we can call this as let's say this point as x so any point x so a x is a general ray now what we will do here is that we will mark on this ray a x three equal parts using our compass so we can place it on a let's say right and then we'll mark angles are equal segments so this is first segment placing it on that point second segment and then from here the third one so what we have got here is that on the constructed line we marked our points which are same distance apart right let's call these points as r s and t so these lengths are congruent now let us join t with b so what i'm doing now here is i will be joining t with b now you can see that if i draw lines parallel from r and s to t b so if i draw lines which are parallel to this from r and s i will be able to divide a b into three equal parts do you see that so now for that let's follow the procedure which we just learned of drawing parallel lines right so make an arc it's kind of a review make an arc so what you can do is you can make these arcs first from all these points correct now we have to draw same angle so we need to cut them from the point at a distance which is same units away right so from t we have made an arc we have to see how long the arc is which we got for the arc so we'll put it here and kind of measure it so this is the approximate length right more or less so let me just verify so we open the arc of our compass to the length required that's the point you get right so from here we'll mark the required arc length so these points which you have got if you join them with r and s you can make parallel lines once you have parallel lines you have divided the segment into three equal parts correct so joining them we get lines which will cut a b into three equal parts do you see that do you have a logic here so let's say those points are c and d so we know that ac segment is equals to cd is equal to db perfect so these are formed by similar triangles correct okay so that is how you actually divide a line segment into three equal parts now we will see how to construct an angle of 20 degrees so the idea here is to first construct 60 degrees angle and then divide it into three equal parts okay the division of parts will be done just as we saw in dividing a line segment right so the concept here is that we will first sketch 60 degrees so we know how to do that so let's say that's the line and from a point o we want to construct 60 degrees angle so we can open the arc 
the compass, form an arc and cut with the same side, right? So what you get here is a 60 degrees angle. So, so that's my angle 60 degrees. Okay, so first step is to get 60 degrees. Now, how do I get three equal parts? So to do that, what we can do here is that let us open a bigger arc so that, you know, the construction is kind of clear to all of you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a bigger arc so that you can clearly see what we are doing, right? So let's say this is my bigger arc. The angle is 60 degrees, right? Now this arc cuts at two points. These are my two points. So let me join them. Now the idea is that we have to somehow divide this segment into three equal parts. Correct? So let's say the point O is here and we have this point as A and here B. So no, now we know the angle AOB is 60 degrees. Correct? So the angle AOB is 60 degrees. Now let's say these two points are P and Q. Now we have to divide these points into three equal parts. How do we do it? We just learned the exercise. So we'll actually implement the procedure. So from Q, draw any line. So from Q, draw any line. So let's do it. On this line, we are going to mark segments which are same distance apart, right? Which are same distance apart. So open the compass and then start marking. One, two, and three. So we got three equally spaced segments. Let us join this segment, the last one, with point P. Let me name them. It'll be easier for us, right? Let's say these segments are B, C, D. Oh, B is already there. Okay, C. Okay, so let us say C, D, E. Correct. So let's join P with E. And once we join that, we have to draw lines parallel to P, E. Correct? That is what we have to do. So now we have to construct lines which are parallel to line P, E. Right? How do we do that? So we'll make equal angles and then do it. So let's open this and make arcs from D, E, D and C, right? So let's say these are the arcs from E, D and C. So I've taken any length, right? Convenient length. Now we have to see how long it is, right? So equal arc length, that, that is ensured equal angles. So open your compass, make it equal. That's about it. Correct, so that's it. Slightly higher, so I'll go lower, okay. Some adjustments we can always do. So we get these three points. Joining these, we should get our segments. So that is first line, this one. 
joining these two points, right? So I'm joining D with the point just now intersected. And then with the third one, mark the points on PQ wherever they intersect. So that is original point, this point, and this. So R and S are these points. Do you see that? R and S. Since we need 20 degrees, what should I do? I should connect O with S, right? So I should connect O with S and that should be one third of 60 degrees. Great. So that is it. So the angle which you get now is 20 degrees. So that is how you can accurately construct an angle of 20 degrees. So what we did here was that we first constructed a 60 degrees angle and then joined two points on the angle PQ and divided that segment PQ into three equal parts. Now if I join all these lines, I get 20, 40 and 60 degrees angles, correct? So that gives you 20, 40 and 60 degrees angle. So I hope you understand and appreciate how it has been done, okay? Now let's check our result. So we can place it on this and see what do we get, right? So that's for you to check. So that is how we can actually make a 20 degrees angle. Do you see that? And you'll find that our lines, if I would have extended, we would have got 40, 60, and once we can actually go around. And if we take these lengths of 20s, we could get all the multiples of 20 in one shot. I hope you understand and appreciate it. So with this kind of construction, you could construct all multiples of 20 degrees. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Try to provide reasoning for each step which I've done here. I've tried to say as much as I could, but I hope as a genuine student of O level, you should be in a position to appreciate and reason out all steps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thanks a lot for watching and all the best.